judgment in the appeal in the matter of Jane Charles. Lady Hale will explain the judgment of the court. This case is about a little boy whom I shall call Salim, though it's not his real name. He was born in England in 2007 to parents who are both Moroccan, but also hold British citizenship. They moved from England to Saudi Arabia in 2009 and then to Morocco in 2011. Shortly after this, the marriage broke down. In July 2012, the father divorced the mother and the Moroccan court granted the mother residential custody of the child, but also ordered the mother to allow contact with the father between nine in the morning and five in the afternoon on Sundays and holidays. In January 2013, the mother left the child with her parents in Morocco and returned to England, where she remarried. The child spent the long summer holiday with his father. In September 2013, the mother returned to Morocco and removed the child to London without the father's consent. The father swiftly brought proceedings in Morocco, asking for a transfer of custody to him. In January 2014, this was refused on the basis that he had not proved that the mother's stay outside Morocco was permanent. I should say that at this stage, the father did not know that the mother had remarried, and also that he did not have a woman to look after the child. So the father then brought proceedings in the High Court here, asking for the child to be returned to Morocco. The judge held that Salim had been wrongfully removed from the country where he was habitually resident and should be summarily returned there. No one argued before the judge that an English court did not have jurisdiction, that is the power, to do this. On appeal to the Court of Appeal, however, the issue of jurisdiction took centre stage. Under the 1996 Hague Convention on Jurisdiction, Applicable Law, recognition, enforcement and cooperation in respect of parental responsibility and measures for the protection of children, which applies as between the United Kingdom and the Kingdom of Morocco, jurisdiction lies with the country of habitual residence, in this case, Morocco. This usually remains so even if the child's habitual residence has changed after a wrongful removal. However, under Article 11 of the 1996 Convention, the country where the child is present also has jurisdiction, quote, in all cases of urgency, end quote, to take any necessary measures of protection. The Court of Appeal held that this was not a case of urgency because the father might have applied to the Moroccan court for a return order. The Supreme Court unanimously allows the father's appeal and remits the case to be decided afresh by the trial judge. It is not a precondition of the urgency jurisdiction that proceedings cannot be taken in the home country. There are situations in which it is necessary for the courts of the country where the child is to put in place immediate measures of protection without waiting to see what the home country can or will do. The question is whether such measures are necessary and if so, whether they are urgent. Cases of wrongful removal or retention from the home country are very likely to fall within this category. The courts of the country where the child is found must be able to order his swift return to the country which has the primary jurisdiction under the convention. This is to use the secondary urgency jurisdiction in support of rather than in opposition to the primary jurisdiction of the country of habitual residence. The courts of the country where the child is are often better placed to make orders about the child's return, as they can take steps to locate the child, evaluate his situation, and use coercive powers to ensure his return to the home country. This is not a derogation from, but a support of, the jurisdiction of the home country. In this case, the judge had not been asked to consider whether he should exercise the jurisdiction conferred by Article 8, 11, it would not be right to substitute this court's decision for his. Rather, the case should go back to him for him to decide it on a proper basis and with the benefit of up-to-date information. 
In any event, it may be urgently necessary to provide for some face-to-face -face contact between Salim and his father, who have not had such contact with one another since his mother brought him here over two years ago. Court is adjourned.